Hello and welcome dear skilled modelers to my small hobby YouTube channel. My name is Tomo and today we're going to be answering some questions. I think it's time for me to tell you guys a little bit about myself and what I actually do for a living. Well, my name is Tomo and I work in a scale model shop. I opened this channel up mainly because I wanted to do some reviews of the kits that we purchase in the store and of course we sell them. Uh, I am in no way affiliated with any of the brands or any of the products that I review. So anything that I say is basically only my opinion and my opinion alone and my of course uh, understanding of this scale modeling world. Okay, with that out of the way, I do get of course a lot of models for review. I mean, I have almost a limitless supply of models to review and look and drool over. But to be honest, even that part, uh, once you actually, you know, get involved with the whole retail store thing, kind of gets, it kind of takes the edge off a little bit of, you know, if you're just a person buying and looking at all those models, oh, maybe once a week or maybe once a month and you're like, oh, so many models, look at this, so beautiful. For me, I mean, I'm there I'm, every day, I'm seeing them, I, I like them, I, I still enjoy looking at box arts and fantasizing, oh, I want to build this, I want to build that. But it's just not the same. This video is targeted towards the person, the model builder, who has already been building for a while and he wants to, he or she, wants to step up their game. So you've built a lot of planes or ships or tanks or cars or whatever and you've mastered the art of gluing things together, putting, you know, and masking off and sanding and all that good stuff. Um, and of course you've painted the models already but you want to do a little bit more. You want to put a little more realism to your model. You want to put life there. What to do? Well, of course, in this day and age, you can just go on YouTube and pretty much see any video you want. But the problem with a lot of videos is that while you're watching uh, some very skilled model makers, these guys have been around for a long time. They've been doing this for a long time. They've, they've gained skills and you know practice 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 and what you see in those videos is usually not step by step in most cases oh my god look to and maybe does do the step by step tutorial but still uh you at the end you see the finished product of their years of experience and because of the nature of video making a lot of the processes are hidden uh, steps are skipped you don't really see the whole thing behind the scenes uh, simply because of editing and simply because of time constraint because if if you wanted to make a video as long as it takes you to actually build something it would probably sometimes even a week or a month long depending on what of course you're building there of course are tutorials by people in the internet and although some are better than the others I think that still it, it, it's not always there, you know, some people do a better job than others um, and it's sometimes hard to find the right YouTube channel to give you the whole information. So basically you watch everything just like me. I mean, I have like probably, I'm subscribed probably to a dozen or so um, scale modeling channels and I absorb information from one or the other. So I, you know, something, I learn something new from this person, that person and, and so on and so forth. Um, but it's it's still I still sometimes feel that something is missing. So to that end, uh, I've decided to make a little change. I've already visited a um, some sort of academy for scale model buildings here in Slovenia. It's a pretty cool um, event. It's a one day event which uh, covers basically everything that you need to know about the basic of scale model building, from construction to painting to weathering. It is of course a paid event, but it's worth the money. But the other thing that I actually did do is buy this book. Fuck book. Facts. Fuck. Fuck. It's not fuck it. Okay, get it. Anyway, this book. And again, I'm not affiliated with the company. It's just we are distributing AK Interactive in our store and I saw this and I just said, what the hell, I'll buy it. It's a very thick book. It has loads of pages how many pages it has 384 pages so it's pretty substantial and this is basically the bible if you're into scale model airplanes 
so uh, this is basically it covers everything from the propeller cockpit interior uh, exterior weathering shading landing gear uh, wheels what else decals uh, it's just a phenomenal um, book and uh, to show you guys a little bit about this book let's watch a video here we go so this is the book as you can see facts it's pretty thick on both sides they're really it's nice in a moment I will change the camera angle so you can see it better okay so there's plenty of pages uh, very good introductory to the basics like the gluing the puttying you know the sanding um, they give you a lot of information a lot of useful tricks and tips so you know it's just a blast to have and just a blast to go through it all you are basically covering every single aspect of the build from the canopy uh, how to remove those nasty little marks to the cockpit interiors to the propellers the landing gear the wing section the, even here on the leading edge where you have the lights how to make antennas some of the things you probably already know but you know you get the general idea this is the most fascinating one this is the rigging how you do rigging for biplanes and this of course chapter 3 painting guide this is a really good one if you ever stumble across a stubborn paint and why stuff is not working for you this is like the Bible it tells you exactly what to do how to do it and it gives you some background information so that you will never have a problem with paints again um, sorry for the out of focus thing uh, the camera is focusing on out of focus and of course then you give you some uh, information about painting in general with brushes and airbrushes the settings and all that and of course you come with techniques how to uh, do certain uh, effects on panels and pre-shading post-shading you know how to do freehand style uh, like modeling effect it, it's just a very very in-depth tutorial into everything regarding planes here we are gonna see some even more stuff with the washes and scratches and there are some reference pictures also how to chip correctly so that you get the realistic effect um, it's just in an, an amazing amazing book uh, here I'm gonna go and see the interior uh, of course we have all the major interiors from the Japanese American German British for jet age and uh, pro uh, propeller age uh, airplanes and the dashboards themselves the instrument panels uh, there are you know there's just so much you can do with them if you want to put more attention to detail here here you'll probably see a couple of pages where you gloss over propellers and cockpit interiors and the wooden effects on the propellers is also so very cool in this guide um, like you see in this see the propellers so nice I mean the effects that you can get purely by painting plastic it's just phenomenal and it goes step by step to tell you exactly how to do it how to do it it's you know it's just a wonderful wonderful piece of information and a very wonderful tool and you can apply this immediately I mean, you can actually go ahead and buy a model that the guy is building in the um, instruction manual and you can just follow the steps and you'll get pretty much hopefully the same result you know depending on of course your, your uh, skill level with painting and weathering and all that good stuff even if you're struggling with uh, camouflage patterns here are just some guides to help you along and uh, tell you exactly how to put camouflage on how to weather camouflage and even on metallic surfaces and it's just you know it's I, I know I'm repeating myself but it's really good if you are tired of relying on uh, decals you can basically make your masks and um, stencils so that you can basically do your own decals uh, and it shows you exactly how to achieve certain effects such as this little cr crazy mouth on the airplane and uh, it's pretty cool you know how to layer it and of course uh, it also shows you how to make very simple and effective dioramas to display your models and I think that is just uh, another bonus to this book that um, you can go through and kind of practice all aspects of model building and at the very end you get of course the gallery of the planes that the author of the book has built using the techniques he describes and you can see how the finished result looks and you know you can kind of compare it with your own if you buy the same thing I believe that if you try and build all the models using the techniques described in this book that you will have a very good mastery of the hobby and uh, you'll just enjoy that much more
Enjoy that? Well, I would recommend that you go ahead and buy something like this from any other company. It doesn't have to be Aiken Interactive. And, you know, just go through the book. You don't have to read it because there's a lot of pictures. But go for the basics, go for the advanced stuff. There really are step-by-step um, -step instructions, you know, to follow if you're like, you know, thick-headed me, like me sometimes. The book itself is, you know, it's substantial. It's 58 euros, I think, something like that. Uh, but it's worth the money because this is gonna last you for like ever, unless you have a dog or, you know, you stop building skill model, which would be a shame because you invested a lot of money. Anyway, this would be a very good way to start. To, if you already know the basics, you can go through the basic, it's, it's leading you through the process and um, yeah, that would be a good way to start. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you will come back soon and subscribe and like and all that and share, comment. Yeah, of course, you're welcome to comment as much as you like. I enjoy interacting with you guys. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching if you have been. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing and I'll see you again soon in the next one. Bye.